Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'll be making two different Christmas DIYs, starting off with this ceramic block that I purchased from Dollar Tree in the Plus Owl. I'm removing all the stickers before proceeding to the next steps. I'll also be using these two candle holders that I purchased from Dollar Tree as well. And since I'm leaving the bottom part blue, I'm going to cover that up with my blue painter's tape. I forgot to mention I'll be using three of those ceramic blocks and I'm using my silver metallic spray paint to cover everything. While my ceramic blocks and candle holders dry, I'm going to work on the next project using these gems. For this next project, I'm making a glam present and I'm starting off by laying all my gems out before gluing them down. I decided to place the clear gems in the middle so there will be no need for any ribbon. I'm using my ruler to make sure all my sides are as straight as possible. I'm using a tiny bit of glue in between each gem, but just enough so my gems can stick together. I like to use a little bit of glue on these gems since this glue tends to make them appear a little cloudy when using too much glue. I know it's looking like I'm barely using any glue and these gems will probably fall apart, but trust the process. I craft using that method before, so I was 100% sure that my gems will hold up. And now I'm just going to make three more exactly the same way as I did that one. So I got all four sides completed, now it's time to work on the top. The top looks bigger than all the four sides because this piece needed to be a little bigger to fit directly on top. I made sure I put a cross in the middle of the top piece so my present can give off that ribbon effect. Putting all four sides together was a little challenging, but this was the best way I knew how to put it together. I slanted it a little and once I was done putting all the glue on, I then stood my piece upright. I'm using these clear Dollar Tree bowls to help hold my piece up until it dries. I'm completing the same exact steps for the other side. This is the fourth piece and my son had to help hold it until I was done putting all the glue on. Once I was done putting all the glue on, I stood that piece upright as well. This is the other side to the fourth piece that I'm adding glue to. I used the bowls for that side as well. This is how my project is looking now that all four sides are glued together and now I just have to glue the top on and when gluing this down just make sure all the clear acrylic gems are aligned with each other. Gluing the top on was pretty easy, I'm just using the same method as I did for the sides. I'm making sure I put the top down and hold it in place until it fully dries. I'll add a little bit of glue to these sides last and for this side, I'm gonna glue the whole thing down. I'm 
I'm only putting glue on the three clear acrylic gems. Complete the same exact steps for the last and final side. Look how cute this is. And I did the clear in the middle so no ribbon is needed. And for this last step, I'm just going to add one of these bows to the center of my present. This present turned out exactly how I envisioned it. The glue held up my gems pretty well and my present is pretty sturdy. I added a push light to the center for a more glamorous look and I love the way it turned out. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Back to my ceramic blocks. If you are going to recreate this then you might want to use some sealant to seal the spray paint. I'm using these metallic pony beads to decorate the top and the sides of my blocks. I didn't bother to use any sealant for these blocks because more than likely I'll probably reuse these in the future. Out of all three of my blocks, this block is the only block that I'm going to glue the beads around the entire top. I'm using my silver sharpie to trace the letters J-O-Y on all three of my blocks. Then I'm going to use more of those pony beads to glue to my letters. I'm adding more pony beads for more decoration. I glue pony beads to three sides of this block and also the top and I'm going to repeat the same steps for my other two blocks but I will not be putting the beads on the top of the block. Time to peel the tape off my candle holders. My silver spray paint didn't fully cover the white part up, so I'll just use my silver sharpie to go over it. I'm not going to glue my blocks to my candle holders because I will be showing you two different ways you can use these. And for this last step, I'm just going to add flowers. This set is a perfect display for your Christmas decor. Although it is pretty simple, it adds a touch of elegance and it's versatile and I love how these turned out. Comment your thoughts below, like and share, and if you're curious to see what else I can create, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications to be notified when I upload.